Hey everybody, I'm Under My Cat, and welcome back to another video where today I'm showing you how to use the replace item command in Bedrock Edition. If you are on Java Edition, make sure to check that video out because this video will not work for you as there's a very unique different command structure actually called slash item in Java now, which is a bit weird, but you know, yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I am in Bedrock Edition and you can see from this inventory that it is Bedrock and the menu. Um, basically, to get the command up, let's open up the command terminal. Now, unlike Java Edition where it's now item or slash item, it's still replace item in Bedrock Edition. So if I go replace item, you'll see that oh, I didn't enable cheats. This is probably a good time to mention that you also need to activate cheats for the world to work. So as you can see, the replace item, there we are, now it works. So you can see that it actually pops up with what we will be covering in this video, the position, type of container slot, slot ID, and the name. And we're going to do entity. Also, I'll be showing you how to replace both entities and blocks with chests, and then we'll do under my cat. And we're going to change the slot ID to slot armor because we're gonna, well, for now, I'm gonna try and make myself into an astronaut with glass on my head. Dot armor. Now, as you can see, once I've typed in slot armor, that a whole bunch of other options pop up. So we've got uh, slot armor feet, chest, uh, head, legs. So for now, because I want to put a bit of glass block on my head, I'm going to type in armor.head. And then I'm going to do slot ID zero because that's not really anything. Now here comes the interesting bit. So I want to type in what I want to put on my head and you can see that everything pops up. I'm going to simply just type in glass. I'm pretty sure that's all you do. Yep. And then you can put in your mount. I'm going to do one. And that's the basic command. So if I hit enter, you'll notice that it says replace slot armor with glass. And if I go into my inventory, I have glass on my head. Now, something I thought would happen is that my player would pop up with, you know, glass on their head, but for some reason that hasn't happened. Um, yeah, that's weird. And you can see, I can't actually put the glass on once I take it. So when I put it on, the glass goes there, but I can't actually, you know, put it back. And the same goes for, you know, uh, other slots as well. They all pop up, it's really useful. I can go, let's say, uh, inventory, so slot uh, dot inventory. And this is where you put in your slot ID. So this is where it actually counts. Go from zero being the first slot to how many other things. So let's say I want to put, you know, an item in slot number five. I'll just say a uh, redstone and hit enter with one. You'll see that it actually puts redstone dust there, which is really cool. Now, let's say you wanted to put something in a chest. Well, this is how it actually works. Make sure that your cursor or your like little cross if you're playing on with the cursor is pointing above it. I'm pretty sure if you're playing on iPad or something, just make sure you like leave your circle on top of the chest before you do anything. And then you simply want to type in the command. So replace item. We're going to do block this time, not entity. And we're going to want to do whatever this pops up. So you can see that these numbers that pop up, you can see the 77 there is actually what I'm looking at. So if I type in 77, 71, and negative 46, that is where the chest is located, which is really cool. Now, slot ID, you can already see it's going to do slot container because there's nothing else you can really do for this. Um, a chest doesn't have armor. Uh, but if we do this, container, we'll do slot ID like five, I don't know. We're not, not being that creative, am I? Um, and let's do bamboo. So you can see I'll put like 10 and you'll see that actually when I open this chest, there are 10 bamboo in it. Now, this is what I find interesting. Am I able to do like a ridiculous? No. Okay. I was going to say that would be pretty uh, overpowered if you can do that, but you can see I filled the slot in with uh, bamboo um, and I can do, you know, slot 10. No surprise, it'll be in slot number 10, which is really, really cool. And this also works if you have a double chest as well. So, you know, if I had a combined chest, then it can go all the way down to here. And thinking about it, I don't think a chest has 27 slots. I don't, yeah, yeah, anyway, something like that. Now that's about it. I've tried to make this video as short as possible just so you can get the information you need. Again, if you are on Java Edition, please make sure to check out the Java Edition video. I've had so many people go down to the comments and say it's not working, uh, those sorts of things. So please, if you are on Java, please check out that video. It would really mean a lot if you could leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.